welcome to this reading. This message is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this message resonates with you, please like and subscribe. I'd love to have you part of my crown. Okay, Capricorn, let's get into it. Where's all this light coming from? Okay. Spirit, may I have a message for Capricorn? Some moon rising in Venus. Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Okay. I think you're Capricorn, I think you're finding clarity now after. Kind of feeling left out in the cold. I think either you or someone else has provided true honesty about a situation. And it's kind of made you feel a certain way. Um, or if this is about money, this could be something that, that's kind of going wrong with your home. Because you have the tower here as well. Um, something's actually coming to a realization that maybe things in your home are needing to be fixed, cared for. So this tower is a, actually a drastic change. This is actually like a change and an ending. So maybe you're moving due to Things not going well with your home. I don't read reversals. Now, this could be for a very few of you, but I'm feeling that maybe you and a spouse or you and a loved one, you and a partner, were actually fighting over your finances. Something came to your truth, and so you're like done with it. It's like, that's it. I've had enough. You've made a choice to go ahead and leave that situation behind. Maybe your partner ran up a bunch of bills and the truth finally came out. That put you in a situation to end it all. You made the choice to 
take a second look at that two of cups because see you have the tower and then here you have the ace of pentacles this could also be a loss of a job as well Anyway, you have a new beginning. Down in this last row, we find that here in the near past, you're standing strong, you're standing firm, you're pushing on. And the current situation you're trying to find more stability you're trying to create a better lifestyle and the strength card here in the near future I feel like you're pushing on you're pushing on for something better, and then you have the hangman and the hermit. So, yeah, with this energy, I feel like it's, it's moving forward. You're slowly coming out of it. Um... But I feel like that it wasn't an easy road. Maybe you've been alone in order to gain some solitude to help you think. Um, you've been trying to find your truth. You've been trying to find the truth in this situation. Hmm. Yeah, with the hangman, yeah, you've made some sacrifices and that brought you into this wisdom. You're you gained enlightenment by letting some things go, looking at it from a different perspective. Wow. Okay, let's find some clarity in this situation. Come on, Capricorn. We need some clarity. Clarity for this situation. I cannot speak today. Let's see. Spirit, can I have a, can you clarify the five of nickels, please? Can you make a card for the five of nickels? Strength card. You got strength twice in this reading. Strength has actually been popping out a lot. So yeah, you've got strength in this situation. So you definitely have courage to move ahead. And you actually have hope and self-respect, self-confidence. What's this Ace of Pentacles, please? Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles in the first row. The Knight of Pentacles, okay. This is a new beginning, but I feel like, I feel like it's gonna feel like it's taking forever. Um, because the Knight of Pentacles, he's very slow moving. He's, he's stopped. He's like, 
holding, just focusing on his pinnacle. Um, and maybe that's what you're doing right now. Maybe you have come to a complete stop and you're focused on your money at the moment. Can I have a card for the Nine of Wands, please? The Three of Wands. Okay, yeah. Even though you're going through this, I feel like even if you feel like you're stagnant, I feel like you're moving on. You're progressing. Even if it doesn't feel that way right now. The Queen of Swords, you have the Page of Swords. So yeah, along with this truth, you may receive a message. A message that will give you further clarity on the situation. I believe that a lot of truths are going to be revealed in this month. Two of Cups. The Judgments. So yeah, I believe that this... This relationship kind of... You're moving on from this relationship. You kind of, you're making a final decision. This was the wake up call that you needed in order to make the final decision. Yeah, you have the world card. You're looking for stability. You've come to the end of this life cycle. You're pushing on. And starting new. Can I have clarity for this tower, please? The Ace of Swords. Yeah. With this ending, it's going to come a lot of new clarity. Um, this tower may also bring forth a huge conflict. Um, maybe if you're leaving a situation, it's going to be in conflict on who keeps the house, who moves out, so forth. But yeah, I feel like with the Tower and the Ace of Swords, yeah, that's. Yeah, I believe that's the end of the process. That's the end of the road for that one. With the Two of Swords, you have the Five of Wands. So it's definitely going to be some conflict and rebuilding. Going to be some challenges to get through this situation um, but you do have the strength here twice I know that you'll overcome whatever obstacles come in front of you you have the ability to adapt yeah, and the seven of swords the seven of swords in this this situation with the will of fortune on the bottom with the will of fortune on the bottom I feel like any arguments or sneakery that are going to come forward, you're going to, it, it, it's going to go in your favor. Because I feel like you're already aware of the situation. I don't feel like they can take any more from you than what they already have. Because you already know they're coming towards you. They're coming toward you sneaky. And with the hangman, We have the Nine of Cups. Okay, so at the end of the situation, when it's all said and done, 
you've gained your clarity, you've gained your wisdom, and now you have contentment. You have gained your wish. So I believe within all of this, once it comes to a conclusion, comes to a final end, you will move forward to your wisdom, your clarity, um, after you've sacrificed all that you can sacrifice. You have your Nine of Cups, you have your wish. Wish fulfillment. And can I have a card for the Hermit, please? Yeah, and the Three of Cups. So when it's all said and done, you have support. I believe that you're going to have friends or family that are coming forward who are going to support you and help you through this situation. Now, at the bottom of the deck, you have the King of Wands. Now, hmm, this may be someone new coming in who's very attractive, very fiery. He's bold charming courageous he's just a beautiful kind of soul and this can be a man or a woman we're not going to put any gender on these cards but he's very assertive and he's a real go-getter he's he's actually the He's the bodybuilder of the pack. Let's put it that way. He's very attractive. Okay. Yeah, you may have someone new coming in. Yeah, Six of Cups. He may be coming in from the past to offer you, to offer you love. Now, I don't read reversals, so. Yeah, he could be coming in from the past to offer you a gift of love. Okay. Well, after endings, there's always a happy beginning. Okay, and let's see. Yeah, I think I'll take an angel card for this reading. I'm kind of led to the angel card today. about this situation well, one more time okay angels spirits and guides can you give me a message for the closing of this reading give me a message for the closing of this reading please a message for the closing of this reading Ray, yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being and peace of mind and spiritual growth right now. So yeah, kind of work off some of that energy. And kind of run off some of that aggression as you're going through this situation. It'll actually help in the long run to focus on something other than what's going on. And you have Francesca. What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progression. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, you have Fiona. Now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve help, heaven's help. Okay. All right. See, look at this. Make your wish. Thank you for joining me today. If this message resonated, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss any further messages. And thank you. Many blessings.